But this may not be the end of it. Comey revealed he did not investigate whether Clinton made any false statements while she was testifying under oath about her email. And Republicans said they will immediately make a formal request for an investigation into whether any of her misstatements were criminal. Elaine? Jan, in terms of new revelations, clearly Republicans want to continue to talk about Clinton's trustworthiness. The chairman asked Comey if the FBI had looked at Clinton's testimony to Congress for perjury. Uh, is this potentially another avenue for Republicans to pursue? Oh, absolutely. And, and Chavis, the chairman, confirmed to CBS News this afternoon that he will be making that formal request, that, you know, he didn't even realize that that, that was such a, a necessary thing, that kind of formality, until uh, the director said that he was waiting on a request to investigate. So I think you're going to see the pressure continuing uh, on Hillary Clinton, that, that these misstatements that, they, that she's made uh, did amount to false statements, and that's a crime. But, you know, that's a tricky statute. That's a federal statute. And it requires to be prosecuted that you knowingly and willfully gave a false statement to Congress. And I think from Comey's testimony today, it's pretty clear that he believes in his investigation that she didn't knowingly uh, exchange emails with classified information. And so when she's saying, I didn't exchange any emails with classified information, while the FBI found, in fact, that yes, she did, she didn't know it at the time. Uh, so I think that might be a pretty high bar for prosecution under the false statement statute. But of course, that is not going to stop uh, Republicans for a request from requesting that investigation. And now, if with, when they do, the, the FBI director will have to decide how he's going to handle that. So uh, on that, Director Comey had exchanges with both Congressman uh, Ron DeSantis and later Congressman Mark Meadows over Clinton's competency in regards to the classification system used by the U.S. government. Let's go ahead and listen to some of that. This question about sophistication came up earlier, whether she was actually sophisticated enough to understand what a C in parens means. So you're doctor. saying this former Secretary of State is not sophisticated enough to understand a classified marking? No, that's not what that, I'm That's a huge statement. I know what I'm saying. You asked me, did, did I assume that someone would know? Probably before this investigation, I would have. I'm not so sure of that answer any longer. I think it's possible, possible, uh, that she didn't understand what a C meant in, when she saw it in the body of an email like that. All right, so as you just said, Jan, uh, Hillary Clinton has said repeatedly that she had not emailed information marked as classified. What did you make of those exchanges? Well, she did. I mean, the FBI director found that she had, in fact, sent and received information that had those classification markings on it. Um, but this goes to her defense that she didn't do it on purpose. You know, that she didn't know she was emailing classified information, and that's why she said that she hadn't been emailing classified information. And so the questions you're hearing from Republicans are kind of incredulous, like, give me a break. The Secretary of State did not recognize that marking and know that that was classified. And, you know, the, you heard the FBI director saying, well, you know, a reasonable person would assume the Secretary of State would know that. But in his investigation, as he described, uh, come to find, she was not as technically sophisticated as one might expect uh, in terms of being computer savvy. Uh, you know, she doesn't even have a computer in her office, he said. So, you know, he's saying that she said she didn't know that was classified and, and you know, the evidence suggests that she really didn't. So that means that she doesn't really fall under the criminal statutes because she lacked that intent. All right. A lot of implications here. Jan Crawford in Washington for us. Jan, thank you. Thanks.